Hello everyone, it's Ryan with My Listing Club. Today I wanted to show you how to add educational features to the My Listing listings promotions flow. I know that might sound like a mouthful and it is, but uh, we'll clear all that up in this video. Uh, real quick, when this video is done, uh, you will find that as well as the guide under our resources and guides, and it will appear right here. Like I said, the video will be uh, included with the written guide. You can also find our videos right here under My Listing Video Tutorials. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Here we are looking at the back end of a My Listing website. And uh, oftentimes, users will see this promote icon. Even if you have not set up promotions in any way, this icon appears and uh, there are ways to get rid of it with CSS. Uh, feel free to jump in our Facebook group and uh, ask how to remove that and that CSS can be provided. But oftentimes users will look at that and be like, what the heck is promote? And then, you know, they'll be curious and they'll click on it and they'll be even more confused. So like, what, what the heck does all this mean? Um, Looking here at the bottom, this is what this whole video is about today, is this this link. It's injecting this link, styling this link. What does this link do? If we, if we open this link in a new tab, this comes to our, our Platform 101 page. Um, if you've seen any of the starter sites I've done, um, sometimes I call it uh, Listing 101. For this site, I call it a platform 101, but it's basically just an educational pay piece just to show everybody what's, you know, how the listing features work, the membership, listing, how to manage your listing, how the promotions work. So what we've done is we've injected a link into this listing promotions modal that anchors to this point on the, uh, our platform 101 page. And this further educates users on what this is all about. What's the benefits, why you wanna do that. So this is awesome for educational purposes and a way to boost your sales and get people using your listing promotions. All right, so we'll go ahead and close this down. So how do we do this? That is why we are here and you know, let's run, let's run through that. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna open our FTP application. I recommend using an F FTP application because if something goes wrong when you edit a file and you lock yourself out or cause an error on your website, as long as you're connected through FTP, you can always fix the error, almost always fix the error and you're always connected and you won't get kicked out of your site and all that good stuff. So highly recommend it. Um, I recommend FileZilla, it's free to download and use. Um, you can also use some free plugins from the WordPress repository. Um, oftentimes they're labeled file manager. You can use those as well. You just gotta be careful because if something goes wrong, you could get knocked out of your website and it could be you know upwards of 30 minutes before you get everything ironed out. So just something to keep in mind. Um, I'm also gonna assume that you have a child theme installed for my listing. If you don't, um, get that installed and activated before you do these steps. Uh, you can, under the miscellaneous section of our resources on the My Listing Club, you can download a copy of the child theme uh, for free. It's just there to, to help people grab that theme easily. All right, so child theme's installed, activated, cool. Uh, we're going to browse to, um, let me back up here. So we're basically going to be in the, in the root folder, public folder of our WordPress install. And we're going to browse to the My Listing theme directory. So WP content, themes, and then My Listing, templates. And see if I can remember, dashboard, promotions. And this is the file right here. This is the one we wanna edit. 
So we want to bring this down to our local machine. We're going to edit that file. Um, I'm going to pretend like I clicked edit and it pull, pulls up my default uh, text editor of choice. I recommend, I recommend uh, Visio Studio Code. It's free to download. Uh, really awesome, powerful stuff, uh, no matter what kind of code you work with. So whether it's CSS, PHP, HTML, whatever, I uh, highly recommend this app. It's got a really nice, it's got a really nice everything, just to be honest. Okay, so here we are in our, the default file that comes with the theme. And we'll notice here if we look at line 94, it's pretty much, you know, this is pretty much where it ends. 93 is where it ends. And 94 is when we want, where we want to inject our code. So let's pretend like we've edited that. This is our new file. So as we look here at line 93, and then 94 is where we start to add our code. So this is it, just these three lines of code. Um, we are assigning a class named learn-about-promotions learn to to, um, to what we've done here, here at the bottom. We're assigning that class to it. By assigning that class to it, we are then able to target that class with some CSS, which we'll show you. Um, then the next line down, we are saying echo, we're gonna spit out um, this text, learn more about listing promotions, and we're gonna hyperlink that text to our educational page, Platform 101, and we're gonna anchor to that portion of our page. Okay? That is really it. Now, let's pretend like we've saved our file go back to our FTP application. Browsing to, back to our themes, here's our child theme. So we're gonna to browse to that. Same spot. And what you do here is you just wanna ensure that you have the same exact path that you saw in the parent theme. You just wanna recreate that. Uh, it's just as simple as right clicking, create directory, uh, my directory. You just, you just build that same path and uh, dump that file in that exact file path and you're good to go. So here's our new file that is uploaded, new file uploaded to our path right there. Okay. And that's really all there is to that part. So now our new code is now in place. Now we need to style it. Again, our CSS class is learn about promotions. Let's minimize this. We're gonna go into our CSS area. You can drop that right here in theme tools, theme options, and then uh, custom code and then CSS. So theme tools, theme options, custom code, CSS. And here is our CSS that is included in the guide. Here's our class that we, that we have. Okay, so all we are saying is that class as a link, which is the A, we're giving it a color for the text, putting the box, box shadow on it, it's a little bit of padding. Uh, sorry, here's the box shadow. And then here's our green color for the shadow. And then we're defining what happens on hover. Um, we're using our same color, but we're just growing the box shadow taller. So growing the box shadow color, growing the box shadow color higher on hover. So that's all we're doing. That's really all there is to it. Um, let me know if you have any questions or jump in our Facebook group if you have any questions with this, but it should be pretty straightforward to do. Um, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, let me know of any other videos that I can create for you. Thank you. Bye-bye.